can't hear you. You can't hear me? Huh. Oh, yeah, okay. I can hear you now. Okay, you can hear me now. Awesome. Phew. Okay, so we left off with Jack running toward the window and looking outside and seeing a humongous dinosaur flying above the forest of Frog Creek. Yep. So now we have some vocabulary. Let's start with this word, nami utu. What does that mean, do you think? Nami utu. Does it mean wave? It does mean wave. How about kaze ga okoru? Kaze ga okoru. Um, so the wind is okoruing. So it's yep. wind, I think. It's kind of like saying the wind picks up in English. Mm -hmm. How we how that word picks up doesn't is kind of random to be used with wind, but and over here they use okoru, which means to occur. So wind occurring sounds a little weird, but we say wind picks up in English, so that's even weirder. <laughs> yeah. Um, and the last one is tabini. A hint with tabi is that we say ichido is similar. Ah, that's weird. Do you know what ichido means? Like you might say a phrase, mo ichido. Oh, my mic was off. Oh yeah, I was like, oh, it's so, so quiet. This is quiet. It's so, like one more time, I'm guessing? Yes, exactly. Ichido means one more time. So tabi means every time. Because tabi is kind of just kind of means times. But since we don't have something telling us something over here, it gets the meaning of every time. Okay. It's like itsumo. Yes, kind of. Itsumo is more like all the time. So like in English, those do actually have different meanings. So you wouldn't say um, all the time I eat chocolate. That would mean I'm eating chocolate all the time. Rather than every time I eat chocolate, yeah, I yeah. feel sick or something. So that, that, that's how mm. those are different. Um, so here is a sentence for you to read. Um, or just okori. Um, Kino Ida Kino Ida Ga Zawa Zawa Tsuto Nami Ota. Nice. So let's start. Do you know what tabi means? We just learned that. Every time. So every time the Okina Tsubasa, they ugokasu. Okina tsubasa, some big wings. Yep. Ugokosu. Uh, ugokosu is waves, right? That's actually nami utsu. Ugokasu just means moves. So every time the big wings move, then kaze ga okori. What does that mean? The wind picks up. Yes. And this causes the ki no eda to nami utsu. <clears throat> so ki no eda, isn't eda like period, time period kind um, of? Like the edo period, I think it's what you're thinking about, edo period is a jidai. Yeah. <laughs> However, eda, eda is a part of a ki, which means tree, specifically, um, eda means branch. Mm. So the branches of the trees, they nami utsa, they nami utsu. 
Nami Utsu. So they wave. Yes. So kind of picture like a crowd of people in a stadium doing the wave. That's what the tree branches are doing. And the sound yeah. that makes is zawa zawa zawa. Zawa zawa zawa. Um, so the way a verb ends can tell us what it's modifying. For example, okiku modifies something different than oki. And we're talking about kaburi o futa. Do you know what kaburi o futa means on its own? Kaburi o futsu or futsa. I don't. It's a new word. Kaburi o futa means to shake your head. So futa is the shake, uh, and kaburi in this case means head. It's uh, basically the same as atama. I believe it has the same kanji, but they just use oh, okay. kaburi. So to shake your head. So what do you think oki kaburi o futa means? So, mm, so it's like you're shaking a big head exactly. or you're shaking in a big way. So the big way would be the ku. That's the point of this grammar point, is that oki tells us we're modifying a noun, which would be the head, and ku is telling us we're actually modifying the verb. So the way in which mm. his head is big, so we use ku here, okiku. But if the head was big, you use oki. Okay, and this is actually where we left off um, way before you went on hiatus. That's why there's random ass <laughs> yeah Ooh, we caught up okay so now you have this line to read uh jack wa putera don o yuku miru to mado kara oku mi o nori dashita nice do you know what mi o nori dasu means mi o nori dashu so peeking out the window, I think it was. That's a good guess, but it actually doesn't mean that. So me on its own basically means karada. It's talking about the body. And then nori dasu, nori means to ride and dasu means to appear or to come out. So to ride coming out has the meaning of to lean forward by a lot. So it's not just like a, having a hunch or something. It's like the actual like leaning that he's doing right here in the picture. He's leaning out of the window. Madokara. So from the window, he Your leans. Your whole body. Out. Yes. It's a very aggressive lean. Um, not only that, we have okiku right here. So what is being big? The leaning or the body? Oku. So it's the... Uh, okay, so it's not the body, it's the yep. nori. Yes, it is modifying the verb. So it's telling us that he's doing a, not only is he leaning, but he's leaning massively. Um, so what, what about the first half of the sentence since we got this guy done? Jack wa putera don no o yoku miru. So Jack is yoko miruing the pterodon. So it's carefully yeah. looking at the pterodon. Exactly. And kind of like, because he wants to have a good close look, he's starting to lean out the window. Next is this sentence. Sono toki da 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 da. Yep. Sono toki da da. So then after that, period that's a like good guess stop. but it actually it's more like it was that time or it was at that moment is how we would say that in english so right when mm -hmm. jack was leaning out the window something happens and let's go look at some vocabulary here's a word kondo you've seen do before in tabi and moichido what do you think kondo means Kondo. So, um, 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 kon, like that, do, always, kind of. So, Close. something to do so, with that. So, kon 
right here it's not like no like that this con right here shows up in words like kyo do you know what kyo means like kyo wa i tenki ka na i don't know kyo um versus like kino kino for example means yesterday so kyo, it's like today and yesterday yeah kyo means today <clears throat> we have today and then this right here Ima is what it is on its loan alone means now. Yeah. So this mm. right here means now do. And do basically means time. So ichi do, for example, means one time. And tabi ni means every time. So kondo is this time, the time that is now. Oh. Hi. Next is tioi. What does tioi mean? Tsuyoi. It means strong or nice. powerful. How about Q? Q ni. Q ni. Uh, I don't know that one. So Q ni means suddenly. Suddenly, okay. I think. Never mind. So um, busy. So yeah. busy. Yeah. Uh, so there's a word that has this in it that kind of means a similar word to that word but it wasn't that word <laughs> cuny suddenly it can be used with like hasty for example but i can't remember on top of my head um how about mawaru mawaru i don't know that one either <clears throat> well this guy actually has a really cool kanji like probably the easiest kanji other than one two and three it is a square with a squall square in front of it and it basically means to turn like if you try drawing a circle in Japanese, like a wheel. And, you know, in Japanese, there's no real circles. That's how you can tell the difference between Japanese, Chinese, and Korean. K -k -k. Yeah. Korean language has all the circles in it. Japanese doesn't. Yep. Um, so ku, we've seen before with modifying verbs. And this is still true. When we have verb like nadu, which is a special word that means like to become. And a, it, a lot of times, mm. ni nadu is how it's kind of first start because the ni goes with like a noun, like um, sakana, for example. Sakana, ni nadu. To become a fish. <laughs> That's just a nonsensical sakana. sentence. Sakana ni nadu, to become a fish. Uh, <laughs> or more commonly, you might hear otana ni naru, which means to become an adult. That shows up in like random kids TV where a child be like, ah, when I'm an adult, otana ni naru, blah, 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 I don't know. <laughs> so um, you can also use this with adjectives like o kiku, because we're because because it's an adjective that's modifying a verb, naru. So this right here means to mm. become strong. Because oki, well, not, no, that's not, sorry. Uh, become strong is what I'm going to want you to make. To become big. Yes. Tioku mm. naru. Strong. You're correct. Yep. Yeah. So to become big is okiku ni naru. And tioku ni naru is become strong. Perfect. Okay. And here is a long sentence for you to read. Kyo <clears throat> ni kaze ga. 強く強くなったかと思うとツリーハウスがゴラリと揺れゆっくり止まわり始めた。Good. So first off, かと思うと is a interesting thing in Japanese. It's basically like as soon as it's like, it's basically like an, a phrase used to mean immediately because omo means to think. So basically saying no sooner than the amount of time it took for you to think, ah, is kind of what it's used. So no sooner than basically you realize this was occurring, the, the fact your brain could acknowledge this, did this action happen? So, what did um, the main character like realize? Kuni kaze ga chiyoku natta. Kuni kaze ga chiyoku natta. So, Q, Q, what was Q again? 
急に風邪。急に。Well, do you think the 風邪 becoming 強く was a ゆっくり<笑> kind of problem? あ、uh, あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ
which is commonly used with me, like me o tsuburimasu. What do you think tsuburu means? Yeah, about 50-50, well, probably one-third chance guessing from the image. <laughs> Three possible answers. I think you're muted again. I am not hearing you. Well, I'm muted again. Oh, That's hi. Hello. Hi. Hello. Okay, what is so Subaru first mean? is blinking. Good guess, but it's actually to close your eyes. Oh, okay. <laughs> male tubiru. So don't use male tojiru. Use male tubiru. Um, next is kaiten. See, we have this mawari within the word. Uh, to turn around. Yes. Kaiten is to spin. Yep. It is to spin, spin, spin. Nice. Next is shagami tsuku, which is what this character is doing. <laughs> Um, to pull, to leech over, not to kind leech of, to. It's, also, it's kind of like the cling as well. Cling. The, the, the very aggressively holding his arm. She's shigami tukuing. So she's not necessarily pushing him in this way, but he's definitely going the opposite way. Um, however, yeah. the part you talked about earlier that was hipparimas, which is to pull. Hipparimas right here, to pull. So in order to pull something, you have to cling to it first. Shigami tsuku, ipparu. Okay, so let's start with the first line. Ani ga jaku no tsuchi. Shatsu, wait, ja, yeah, shatsu. Ah, shatsuko. Jack? Looks, sounds like Jack. But right here is Jack no shatsu. Isn't it? Ego no shatsu. Ani ga chioku. Chioke. Chioke. Chioke no. Ah, shatsu. This is shatsu. Jatsu o hipoida. Hipoida. This right here is pa. Hipata. Po would have another Hipata. line on top. Hipata. Mm. Do you vaguely remember what hipata means? Hipata. Hipata. It sounds familiar. Hipata. Um, oh, I was in the other line, wasn't it? Let's uh, see. Let's look at this page. We it got was. Chipata is right here. And Shigami oh, to cling. Yeah. So Shigami Tsuku is to cling. So what does Hipparu mean then? If cling means the one on the top. Hipparu. To pull. Yes. Good job. So what does Annie pull on? Annie pulled on the shirt. Uh, yes. Shirt of who? Her shirt? Whose shirt? Oh, Ani. Ani ga Jack no. Oh, Jack's shirt. Exactly. Nice. And um, I'm going to have you do these two sentences. Kaiten ga kaiten ga don don hayaku nai hayaku naru. Migama, migama wa teru. Migama yeah. wa aru. So first, I'm going to start with megama wa aru. Because ma wa aru is a word that has this kanji in it. Pictured like in an anime. So Mega joking. Mega water. So to roll your eyes. So that's a good guess. So that's a very American idea. So you want to look more anime <laughs> for mega mawaru, which is, you know, oh, or God. cartoony, you know. When you're where in um in America, our cartoons will have the bird going mawadu or stars or something going around their head. But over in, in um a lot of shows, they'll have their eyes will get all swirly when they're. Oh yeah. 
So dizzy can be mega mawaru. The eyes go super circly, <laughs> which I don't I don't think it, it exists in English, but it's the ah that that like face. Um. So the thing that's causing his man to go mawaru is the tree house is doing kaiten, and that kaiten has hayaku naru. What does hayaku naru mean? We have naru plus hayai. So hayaku naru is like to become fast. Yes, perfect. And don don is just a sound effect, which is a pretty fast sound sound effect going don 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 don. Um. Next is this sentence. Jack wa ani ni ani ni ani ni jikami jikame itte Kyoto Kyoto mi o tsuba tsubatta. So right here is gyu which is a sound effect that basically kind of is the sound of um squeezing something. So squeezing is you. Kind of like how you kind of squeeze your Q. chest and you go you. That's the squeezing sound effect. So what what does male tsubutsu mean? Earlier. Me, me to close your eyes. Yes. <clears throat> and another thing he's doing other than closing his eyes is shigami tsukuing ani. What does that mean? I'm not too sure. Okay, let's go back to our vocabulary sheet. So we have hipparu, which means to pull. And then we have shigami tsuku. What do you think that means? To cling. Yes. So Jack is clinging to Annie and he kind of like clutches his eyes closed. Okay. So I told you earlier, Nadu means to become, like we did earlier with um, in the last sentence with uh, Okiku Nadu or, or here. Hi. So as I told you before, you can also use this with nouns in which case we use ni here like neko ni natta what do you think that means um neko ni natta neko ni natta to be a cat to become a cat. or i became a cat it's, yeah it's very important to know it's not to be it is to become so it is it's definitely used for like transformations so um you can also use this with things like Shizuka, which um, is a, I think I it's an adjective, but you wouldn't use ku here. So ku is an e adjective thing. E adjectives get ku. No adjectives do not get ku. That would be weird. So how would you say to become quiet in Japanese? Treat this like a noun. Um. So, shizukaku naru. So that's a good guess, but na adjectives are treated like nouns in this case. So it has to be shizuka ni natta. So it is a little confusing, but in general, ie adjectives and na adjectives are really separated from each other. In the fact that almost all the time, na adjectives are almost like pathetic nouns than adjectives in Japanese. So E adjectives are just adjectives. They're just, that's what they are. There's no confusion, but not are a little bit more, is this a noun? Is this an adjective? Um, is it it, really? there, there's, it tends almost, so half the time with conjugation, no adjectives will be conjugated the exact same as nouns with like the da or de type of um, things. So over here, just one of the examples where a, a adjective is treated like a noun. Shizuka ni natta. 
to come. Okay. Uh, now you get to read this sentence. うわ。うわ。と、当然何もが何もかもがっと待って静かになった。Nice. What's this word right over here? Tozen. Like, it's not obviously, tozen. or of course. Something else. That's, tozen does mean what you think it means. But does that actually say tozen there? Is that an u after the to? Oh, tozen. Yep, tozen. tozen. So what does tozen mean? I hear it a lot, but I got the meaning. Yeah, tozen means suddenly just like the cuny we saw earlier today yeah. uh totozen is almost like is more commonly used than cuny um and then this toll right here what's that telling us oh, so wa and then yeah whatever's after exactly we hear the scream and then Nani nani mo kamo ga tomatte tsuka ni natta. So something is going to tomaru. You know what tomaru means? Tomaru to come to a stop. Yes. Then we have nani mo kamo, which is a weird word. Do you know what it means? Nani mo kamo. Um. What? Mm, something cloud. Kind of nani mo. That's, that's kind of good guess because nani does kind of mean like what, and um, kumo can mean cloud, uh, but nani mo kamo basically the same meaning of like subete, which means like everything. Hmm. So everything and anything, it stops. So basically, it's saying the treehouse is no longer spinning, and not only that, shizuka ni natta. What does this part mean? So to become quiet. Yes, so it became quiet. Probably, you know, when everything was going, they probably heard like the wind noises, maybe books fell off the shelf, who knows? It was probably a kind of loud situation. Um, so in Japanese, uh, there, so similar to English, how we can add like un to things like happy and then unhappy in japanese the, in order to say not to add not to verbs we conjugate to do that for example what does yomu mean yomu means to read nice so yomanai means to not read or won't read um reading will not occur with yomanai so yomu is Yo mu, right? Yo mu. So with this, you delete this u right here and we keep in the m. Yo m. So then we got yo m. And then we're adding a nai. Yo, yo ma nai. Yo. So that's how we got that ma right here. So how would you do that to kiku, which is ki ku? Kiku. How would you make that into the negative form? Um, hikunai. Hiku means yeah. to play, right? Kiku means to hear, but kiku can also mean to play. It has different kanji. If you're talking about, I think it's, which instrument is that? Um, I think that's like the- Hiku has a lot. Uh, I'm not, I, like there, there definitely is an instrument that uses, Word that sounds like I feel like you're thinking of hiku, which I think is for piano playing. But yeah, kiku is the listening word or to ask a question. So to not listen would uh, not be kiku nai because remember here we had yomu became yoma nai with the a. So how do we make that from kiku? Um. Hmm. Yomu, yoma, so hiku, hikamai, hikanai. Yep. Hikanai. hikanai, there we go, hikanai, yep, hikanai. <clears throat> so 
So this is how ooh verbs are conjugated. So verbs that do not end with do. So if it ended with a do, for example, yo me do, which means to be able to read, becomes yo me nai. A lot easier. All we do is delete the do and add nai to become unable to read. Yo me nai. For example, uh, you probably can yo me nai the kanji, <laughs> which is you probably cannot read this kanji. Yo me nai. Well, um, yo ma nai means you just won't. You're like, I don't want to do it. I don't want to read today, dude. It kind of has a more personal aspect than the inability to actually do it. So how would you do that with kikoeru, to be able to hear? How would you make it into to be unable to hear? Um, kikoenai. Yes, kikoenai. Perfect. There's my ugly handwriting, kikoenai. Perfect. So... Let's start with the first sentence. Nani mo kiko kikoinai kikoinai kikoinai. So I can't hear a thing. Exactly, kikoi perfect. That's exactly what it says. How about the next sentence? Jack wa oso osoru 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 osoru. Hmm. Osoru osoru. Ah, mi o aketa. Me. <laughs> Me o ageta. So osoro osoro means kind of like what this cat is doing right here. Kind of like, hmm, I don't really want to otiru. So I'm going to osoro osoro, osoro osoro as he walks over. What, so what do you think osoro osoro means? Like contemplate, kind of? Well, it's kind of more cautiously. So Cautious, it kind of, all right. You have a little bit of like fear. You kind of there's like the little very cautious thing. So what does Jack do Carefully. cautiously? Um, me o ageta. So to open your eyes. Exactly. So he doesn't just go bam when he opens his eyes after the whole house went spinny spin spin. He kind of like does a little squint first, and then then he kind of like cautiously kind of opens it. You know. So it's not just a bam, eyes open, what's going on, but slow. Um, so we talked about negative forms, but you can also use it with um, past tense. With past the negative tense. Form. So for example, yomu became yoma nai, ending with a nai. Well, you can delete that I and add kata. For yomanakata being, I did not read that. I was like, nope, I'm not going to read that. Yomanakata. Yomanakata. Nice. So you can also do with yondeiru. What does yondeiru mean? Yondeiru. Um, sounds super familiar. Yeah. Yonde. Earlier, the little sister was like, eh, onichan, nan no hono yondeiru? Was what she asked him. Which this like, means what are you not reading? Yeah, it is reading. So yomu means to read, and it's more like habitual. Like, um, do you go on walks rather than are you walking? There, it's different in English as well. So, just the word itself, walk. You don't really say I go walk today. That, that sounds weird, right? Yeah. So it's that's just what that is. It's adding the ing. To the verb you do so what happens with when we have that ing the ndeiru part the do right here gets dropped and we get nai so yonde inai is a negative form of i was not reading yonde inai then it became yonde ina kata right there kata is the past i was not reading yonde ina kata so next is this verb, which is kawaru. And kawaru means to change. Oops. So to change. This verb is an u verb, not a do verb. It's an u verb. So it is a r plus mm. u, not ru. 
Um, kawaru. So how would you change that so, into negative form first? Kawaru into negative form. That would be kawaru. 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 Kawaranai? Yeah. Kawaranai. Kawaranai. Or just kawaranai. No, you're right. Kawara, kawaranai. It's kawaranai. A, because this is not a ru verb. It is an u verb that is pretending to be a ru verb. It's just playing transformation. So how would you make this into past tense, as in it doesn't change? Or it didn't change? It would be kawaranakatta. Yeah, perfect. Perfect. So what if you're saying it's not changing like right now? First off, you want to change kawa do into te form. What do you think the te form is of kawarimas? Because it's an u verb. Kawarimas. No. Kawatte. Yep, kawatte. And then we get iru for being um, changing. And how do we make change kawatte iru into negative form? Kawatte iru, so kawatte nai. Perfect. And then kawatte nai. Kawatte nai. How about the past? Kawatte nagatta. Yes, exactly. Perfect. And here is a sentence for you to read. Treehouse no naka no use wa nani mo kawatte nakatta. Nice. So first off, I'm just going to tell you what yosu means, which is basically the situation. So the situation of mm -hmm. what? Treehouse no naka. What does that mean? Mm, so what's happening inside the treehouse? Yes, that. So inside the treehouse, nani mo kawatte nakatta. What does that mean? Nani mo kawatte nakatta. So nani mo what's kawatte nakatta? So early. So what's changing in that class? Kind of close. Whenever you did nani mo kikoi nai, you did this correctly, even though it had nani mo on the front. You said you can't hear anything. Because even though nani means what, with this mo here, we kind of change the meaning a little bit. Rather than what, what do you not hear, doesn't make any sense. It's you don't hear anything. So over here, it is nothing is kawatte nakata. So nothing is changing or nothing has done the change nothing, nothing is changing nothing has changed so so it means everything in the treehouse looks exactly the same nothing has changed there's no books on the floor everything looks the same so yep so yona you've seen this before is used when we're describing things for example, okabi no yona o ayakashi is what I like using for this, which is just a large um, spirit that looks like a wolf. Because it's not a wolf, it is a large spirit, but it definitely looks like a wolf. So, looks like a wolf. Yes. So, how would you say wings like the wings of a bat? And you can use hane or tsubasa. For either version, I'm not gonna teach you. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. But they're they're basically the same. They both mean wings. The only difference is that sometimes it it's better to use one for a certain animal or whatever. It's arbitrary. Mm, wings like the wings of a bat. Yes. How would you say that? So, hane no. Komori o tsubasa. I can just say this is <laughs> not right. Do, winging the 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 bat wings. 
winging the bat wings <laughs> is what that says. Tsubasa, I was going to ask Wrong you. Winging the bat wings. Um, well, your goal for this is to use Yona in there somewhere. So let's let's uh, Yona. let's try throwing in Yona. I'll keep what you had before. Um, hane, oops, hane no komori, and then um, tsubasa. Tsubasa. So in between, I could put Yona. Yes. So Yona tsubasa. Which is wings like bat wings, yeah. Han hane no komori. Uh, with the there does there should be a no between komori and yo. <laughs> so hane no komori no yo na tsubasa. But that's just because um mm, okay, that's just yeah. how yo na works. But yeah, that's how it works. Um, if you change rather than having na at the end of yo, you can have ni at the end to describe the verb doing something like a noun. For example, o kami no yo ni hashiru. What does hashiru mean? To run. Yes. So this means to run like a wolf. Kind of like this character from this random anime is running. Perhaps so, so, somehow weird. O kami no yo ni hashiru. To run like a wolf. How would you say to fly like a bat? We have tobu, which means fly, and komori, which means bat. Hi. So that would be. Tobu no yuni komiri, komori. So you'd say komori no yoni, and then you just need to put the verb there, which is tobu. Like you threw in like some extra words that wasn't needed because this is just bat right there. Komori is bat. Then it says um, no yoni, which is in the way of. So in the way of the bat, you tobu, which is to fly. Komori no yoni tobu. Ooh. So if you add ka, building more if you had ka in front of the no yoni it makes it into a as if kind of statement so it's hard to like illustrate this so i just had some two sentences like um uh marude sora ga naiteru ka no yoda which is it is as if the sky is crying that's what it looks like as if the sky is crying so that'd be like it's raining or something. Marude, sora ga naiteru ka no yoda. So it's used when we know the fact is a lie. Um, and uh, it's normally used with yoni in general. So it's as if this was happening, but it wasn't actually happening. Or kuai mono wo mita ka no yoni kanajo wa kureru which is the girl was shaking as if she had seen something scary. So how would you say as if nothing happened? I have nani with little mo for you. So you know what verb it means, nani mo and aru. How would you say as oh, if aru. nothing happened? Hmm. So we could say nani mo, nani mo kano aru. So I would probably say nani mo nai, the negative form of aru. Nani mo nai. And then have the ka no yo, as if nothing had occurred. Nani mo nai, ka no yo. So the, the, so the nai is aru, that's the same word. Uh, it's just uh, oh. it, it's one of those like irregular conjugations that I didn't teach you, which, which I, so I should have just had adu and then had arrow and had nai here, but um adu just turns into nai. It's just like how um iru turns into inai. The that's mm. just irregular conjugation. 
like sudo turns into shima. They're just, they're just making things hard for you. Um, so next is this sentence for you to read. So in order to make this easier to read, we're going to ignore the middle of this, this sentence and say, just do Mado kara yuhi ga tashikondeiru. That is the most important part of this sentence. What is this saying? Mado kara. Mm. So from the window, yuhi ga, it was evening. Evening kind of. Yuhi ga sashikondeiru. Sashi, so to shine, shine the evening, evening night, evening night, evening light. Basically, this is evening light. So the evening sun, evening sun. So the evening light basically shines in word. Uh, sa sashi is kind of like a stabbing light. So it's just saying rather than like a light bulb that goes everywhere, it's more like a bead of light, you know, like a the like like when aliens are abducting somebody that kind of light <laughs> yeah the light is just flowing in from the window yep so now we're describing this the this action but like adding flavor text basically we're making this be kind of artistic by say nani nani which is to become to Sorry. Um, so whenever when I told you nai earlier was the negative form of adu, you remember that? Adu. Yep. So when you make this into past tense, nai turns into what? Mm, nakatta. Yep, nakatta. So nani goto mo nakatta. You already know what that means. What does that mean? Nani goto mo nakatta. Uh, I forgot. So it means that okay. nothing happened. Nothing happened. The way how nani mo is different than nani gotomo is just that nani gotomo is like a bigger of nothingness. So it's saying everything and anything, absolutely nothing. So it just makes, if it said nani mo nakata, that, that feels less dramatic than nani goto mo nakata. So th this feels more dramatic. It's like a bigger developing term. So altogether, what is the saying, do you think? So... I would start with the, this part. If we were doing this in English, we'd do this first, and then we'd do that part. Goto mo nakata ka? And then, so so it's not in order. So evening light. So nani nani goto mo nakatta ka no yoni. Let's start with that. What does that mean? It slipped my head. What was it? It's very similar to earlier where we did nani mo nai ka yoni. Was the sentence you made? Well, we, we made earlier, which was nothing happened as if. As if nothing happened. Or as if nothing is happening or will happen. Just more dramatic. Nothing will happen. Nani mo nai ka yoni. So a little weird sentence. But yeah, this right here means as if nothing is happening, as if nothing had happened. 
from the window, the sun is shining through. The evening sunlight is shining through. Does that make sense? So as if nothing happened, the sunlight, the evening light kind of came in. Yes. Yes. As if mm -hmm. nothing had happened. Because remember, the whole building was all spinning and it was like, wow. But now, as if nothing had happened, the evening light spills into mm. the room from the window or something. Spools or whatever. So, and, the, and this if number ka just means as if. And if it wasn't there, it would kind of, the, uh, I don't know if the difference is this, this is weird. Ah, it's, it's just that um, this is like adding the as if word. So this right here just saying the way in which the sunlight flowed into the room was the way where light like it it sounds weird if you did Tony because oh. it just this becomes describing the way the sunlight's in is the fact that nothing would have happened. That's how the sun flew in. But this right here is more making a descriptive sentence as if nothing had happened because something had happened. So this right here would be used. No, nowhere because it doesn't really make sense like why would you be specifying the light comes in in a in a way some so the light comes in in a way so it's a simile you know so if it was like the light comes in like something had happened i don't i don't think i could do this in english <laughs> do you do you know how it's different though with the ka versus no ka uh, go back here um well kind <laughs> it, of depending on the sentence yeah, so like if we were to hear, it's a totally different sentence. With okami no yoni hashiru means to run like a wolf. Well, if there's okami no, so it's okami ka no yoni or something like that. Where's the kago? Yep. Okami ka no yoni hashiru would be running as if he was a wolf. So it just, it just is the difference between as if. So in some sentences, the meaning doesn't change a lot. But in the last sentence, it sounds weird if you don't have it because we're making a hypothetical situation to just describe how quaint everything is, even though it wasn't quaint. So it kind of makes it more important what happened in the past than what is happening currently. And the thing that happened in the past was the whole um, building shaking. Um, so she, she in Japanese, can be used to list an example of something, a reason. For example, kare wa benkyo dekiru shi, sports mo jōzu da shi, watashi no suki na taipu da. Which is that person, he's good at studying and he's good at doing sports, so he's my favorite type. So the she's here are listing reasons why I like this person. It's just a reason. It's just listing. Um, you can just have one listed reason. It could just be kare wa benkyo dekiru shi. Watashi no suki na taipu da. Like you don't need multiple things listed. You just know this is part of a list of reasons why you think something. So for example, as if nothing had happened, for example, Annie was safe. Sounds a little weird in, in English saying it that way. But um, this right here would be that um, that uh, as if nothing happened would be nani mo go to nakata nakata ka no yo ni nani go go to mo thought how would I lose that rather kata yo ni and now let's let's do a list. What what the how would you say Annie was for example Annie was safe? How would you say that? For example, uh, Annie was safe. Bougie. Tatoeba. Tatoeba Annie. Annie Bougie Gashi. Yep. Bougie Dashi. So this is a perfectly good sentence, but you could even delete the tatoeba as the she is already insinuating the for example. So tatoeba mm. is a little bit aggressive in this case, tatoeba, 
because as I said earlier, it's kind of weird in English to say the for example, Annie was safe. Uh, it's it's yeah. kind of like, it becomes like that in English. So you could say it, but it gets like really aggressive rather than like, she is like a less aggressive way to list reasons than saying tatoeba. But tatoeba is very important because, you know, it's, it's a lot of times it's good to do. For example, is a very useful word. Um, throwing a lot of grammar on you. So mama is kind of like a noun that means as long as the previous state continues. For example, kono machi wa mukashi no mama kowatte nai, which is this city since in the past that so we had the mukashi and continuing now, it's the past just continues, nothing has changed. So it's, it's like, you see how it's a weird word to define, but it kind of just says, so we say the condition, which was the past and nothing changes well as long as nothing changes it just kind of like continues so this, this is kind of like a weird example sentence for that changes have not occurred or um which is as long as you have that kind of going on then you are not able to enter this restaurant so i believe kakko is outfit so if you ever been in a restaurant that says no shoes no service that would be no shoes example. no service kakko. yeah I get it. no shoes no service okay so look kakko no mama de. as long as you're not wearing shoes i don't think you can enter this restaurant so those are some weird ass examples i picked out i don't know why i picked those examples but basically this is just used to say whatever we're talking about something has not changed so it kind of has a as long as this happens so this is a better sentence than that but i just had that there is like showing how weird it was basically um but now finally you're ready to read a sentence from the book <laughs> I need more. あ、無事だし。本も本も本も。床に置いた。よく。よくも。そのままだ。This uh, is a uh, like a uh, rucksack. Which means backpack. Yep, rucksack. So right here we have sono mama da. That mama, which what does mama mean? So, no mama, so like as long as yeah so it's basically saying that the condition has not changed so the backpack the books all these things are in the same condition that they were in the past there's been no change um since um some kind of event occurred which was the house uh spinning and shaking and all that stuff since that's occurred before what that when that happened before the shaking and now there's no difference the the jotai the situation has not changed for those items is what that mama is telling us and these the she what is that telling us it's a reason yes so, so i need to say yes and this reason is what I what I read earlier, which was as if nothing had happened. This is being connected to the previous sentence, which is as if nothing had happened, the light is shining into the room. Not only that, but Annie is safe. Anyway, Buji does she. And the state of the hole and, and the books and the backpack are unchanged. So what does a yuka ni oita ryuku mean? So the backpack. is stuck on not stuck. You're correct. We are describing the backpack here. Yuka ni oita. 
So it's like on top of the branch. So yuka actually means floor. So it means the backpack that was left on the floor. That's what that's saying. Mm. Yuka ni oita ryukyu. So that's where Jack, he, he plopped his back down there. Oita kind of means to put somewhere. So all together, they're saying um, not only was Annie safe, but the books, <laughs> And the backpack I placed on the floor are have not moved. They're just Everything as they were before. And next is the sentence. Uh, Jack wa hato, hoto, hoto. Yep. Oh, so, tami, good job. Hoto. Uh, tami iku o tsuite mado no soto o mita. So the ho is a sound effect for tame iki. What do you think tame iki means? Tame iki. Tame iki. Hmm. Close your no, I don't think it's to close your eyes. It doesn't mean to close your eyes. It means to take a sigh. <laughs> kind of weird picture. I, I, like, uh, <laughs> if, if you if you watch like old anime, this is what sighs used to be drawn. I don't know if they still do that in today, but whenever a character oh, sighs, right. they oh, do that little cloud thing. <laughs> He's like, sigh of relief. Yeah, a sigh of relief. So, oh, is the sound of the sigh he made. Oh, Tamieki o ite. So Jack sighs, and what else does he do? Mado no soto o mita. So he looked outside of the window. Perfect. Um, and I'll have you do this guy as well. Ah, uh, soko wa frog creek no. Uh, tree kanji, no forest yep. kanji, which is you're right. This is for yep, mori. Ah, uh, mori, mori de um, hanakata, nakata, 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 yep, mori de wa nakata. So, do, do, do. Sokoa. So outside or over there was Frog Creek or was the forest of Frog Creek? Nakata. Nakata means. Naru, nai. Oh, it's the negative past tense. Yep. So it was there. It wasn't the forest of Frog Creek. I mean, Oh, it wasn't the first. It wasn't. Oh my. It was something else. Oh, oh, oh. And you have finished chapter two. Oh, so next that was quick. Chapter three. And it's actually basically right on time. So 